Oh my god. DJ, how much crack are you smoking? <laughs> Since when do you play Marth, dude? Since when do you Where's play Marth? <laughs> All right, slice them up. You're good. All right. So honestly, like, as much shit as we're giving DJ for like randomly going Marth. Yo, play Jungle James. <laughs> I dare you to play Jungle James. So as much shit as we're giving DJ for playing Marth, I mean, you have to remember, he and the Moon are like fucking best friends, bros. Yeah, like they are boys. So obviously, DJ understand. It's the same kind of situation as G Money because DJ is also good friends with G Money. Like, he understands where Marth is coming from. Yeah. And honestly, I don't 100% blame him because it's like you were saying. At, like, the top 5, top 10 level, yes, Fox is better, but up until then, like, you never really know. Yeah. Whereas, with Marth, you can really get easily confirmed kills like that, you know? You just get that one well-placed air, and you do so much better. Yeah. Especially on a wide variety of stages. Like, you just playing Marth against Peach opens up so many stage choices. So, like, I understand DJ's choice here. Yeah. It was actually... Uh, I would say that if he wasn't going to use the Sheik, yeah, this was probably his best bet for playing against Ryubi. I mean, like, I'd say maybe his Fox just stick with his main, but at the yeah. same time, like, this is as good a matchup as you're going to get. Now, he is playing... The thing is that, that interests me is that he's not playing Marth in the same way that the Moon does at all. No, he's playing very much DJ Nintendo yeah. Marth. He, he's being very patient. Um, he's just he's waiting, and he's waiting for Rio Beat not even to mess up, but just show. He's waiting to see what Rio Beat's mindset is. Yeah. And to figure out kind of the flow that Rio Beat has. Yeah. And then he figures out where the holes are in that style. Yeah. He's really just. Uh, uh, He's he's waiting for for those openings and they're they're bound to come. Off of them. Yeah. Now this is going to be interesting because DJ usually not a very edge guard heavy player. He usually just waits to get that center stage control. But he's really doing a good job of just making sure that Peach doesn't have control of the edge. Now you know Nico does get that, but you know I mean. Sneeko. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Counter Edge Guard, DJ, you're not playing Fox. I'm sorry. Let's see. Now the other odd thing, DJ hasn't tossed out a single Nair this entire game. He have you hasn't. noticed that? I, I have noticed that, and Which, that's interesting because I love the Nair against Peach. Yeah, it's it's super good, especially when Peach is just doing that kind of mid-level float. But DJ is really just waiting for the grab to present itself, and then he just goes off of that. And, I mean, we see right there, Nico just floating, doesn't go from the nair, he just waits. He knows that Nico has to approach him. That's how the matchup works. Peach has to approach. He just waits for that, and then he just finds the hole. Oh. DJ handling that very smoothly. Could have gotten gimped, but he just saves his double jump, waits for it, times it out right. I think that Neo, that Neo, that Rio beat was gonna fast fall. Oh, good get up attack. Okay. Mm -hmm. Peach's get up attack is actually not that bad. No, not at all. It's one of the better ones in the game. Yeah. And also the thing is, is that it's useful in a variety of matchups. Yeah, especially Where, uh, for Marths that love to get really close on the edge. Mm -hmm. The dash attack, a rare. Rare sight. Oh! Oh my god, an air! Oh my god! <laughs> DJ Nintendo. Thank you. So Real Beat really just trying to kind of abuse Peach's control of the air. Tossing out those turnips. Oh, gets the blender. So now this is going to be this is a matchup that Real Beat can definitely win. You know, obviously Peach can live up to those high percentages. Yeah. He just has to play a little bit safer, and he has to really focus on turnips, which he hasn't been doing. Yeah, this much. matchup is all about those turnips. It, uh, Peach needs to, it, it, like, if Peach doesn't have a turnip, she should pull a turnip. And if you're Marth, like, if it, if Peach has a turnip, get it away from her and don't let her pull another one. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. DJ, getting that good tipper. Not even lucky tipper, just a good tipper. He knew when to put it in. 
And salty run back. There we go. Well, I mean, honestly, like, now nah, this is. I understand why Nico's doing. Yeah. That. He really did take DJ down too. If he'd gotten, you know, three or four more hits on him, he could have taken that game. Yeah. Nope. For sure. Um. Drops the combo a little bit, but you know, and, and honestly, still, it's and, still good. Yeah. And honestly, if uh, going to Dreamland or FOD really wouldn't have solved his problem. Yeah. Especially not with the way that DJ is playing. Nah. Like, DJ is playing in a way that, like, normally a Peach would want to just go, you know what, I'll take you to Dreamland. But the way that DJ is playing, he would just use the platforms well and he'd just wait for a good opportunity. Yeah. Like, you might as well just take him to Battlefield where it really is just going to be a test of fundamentals and mechanics. And it'll be much easier to kill each other. Yeah. So DJ does take that early sock lead, but he's also kind of in that danger zone as Marth when you get it to around 90%. Yeah. You do get killed. Not like super easily, but you know. It's at that right percentage. Yeah. Now Nico finally is starting to actually use turnips. He's kind of remembered that like that's a thing. Yeah. He was in the, you know, like Nintendo 3DS mindset where like you pull turn up, you get banned. <laughs> Rip, rip Peach players, dude. Seriously, what was that about? So he gets the weak hit on the down smash, but you know, right now he's just trying to chip up some percent. He's not really at a critical time right now. Nah. It's really just, you know what, I just need to get some percent, I need to wait for an opportunity to present itself. Here we go, DJ is really prioritizing grabs. I mean, obviously, grab's an important part of every single Marth matchup, but really, DJ is taking advantage of them. Yeah. There we go. Now, what do you think of... DJ has actually been tossing out a decent amount of dash attacks. Yeah, um... I think that the dash attack is... It, it's risky, um... But in this matchup, like, if you really need to, um, to just get up in Peach's face and hit her quick, then you you don't have a better option. Like, especially if you're across the stage um, and she's, like, pulling a turnip or something. Uh, I think dash attack is a good solution for that. Um, and I, I especially love the dash attack on Yoshi's story because it's easy, that's the easiest stage with Marth to get his, um, his uh, uh, no lag uh, landing from the edge uh, on, and from that, you can do a dash attack and it will cover three-fourths of the stage, so. Right, be figuring that out. Try to smash out of the grab, but, you know, I mean, yeah. DJ knows the timings. Oh yeah, DJ's uh, got those timings locked. Uh, DJ is just a mechanically solid player, evidenced by the fact that, I mean, we didn't even know that he had a Marth, but no, he has but a Marth. Yeah, he's he's doing really well, actually. I mean, But then, I mean, beyond that, he's got, obviously, the Fox. Yeah. He's pretty much the only good Bowser in the world. existence. <laughs> and he's not bad at Samus at all. Yeah, he beat Unknown with Samus. He beat Unknown with Samus. Yeah, that, nothing to, snare, to sneeze at, at oh, all. Yeah. Who the fuck says that? Me? Yeah. Wow. How does it feel to live in the 1940s? Um, it's... Okay. How'd you avoid the draft? Oh, um, reasons. <laughs> All right, so Ryobi actually kind of figuring out DJ. He's playing more turnips. He's just taking DJ to the ground. He's not trying to emphasize platform control. He knows how to handle him now. And, I mean, we can see, like, this is doable for Ryobi. Gets in there. See what he does. No, he's not trying to play to the edge too closely because he knows that especially with oh. DJ's... Oh. Oh. oh! Well played by DJ. I mean, Ryobi handled that brilliantly, but DJ just knew exactly what he was going to do. What he had to do, to be honest. Yeah. Now, the thing is, is that Ryobi can still win this. Yeah. Like, like honestly... One, one good Peach combo, that's oh. it. No! Ryobeat is DI'ing his heart out. Oh! That is, that let's be honest, that's a terrible way to go. Okay. 